So this is the crook and flail that I, I created. Uh, I worked from pictures from King Tut's private belongings. Uh, to make the crook, I took a metal tube and I attached it to a wooden uh, circle that I created out of a piece of wood. I just cut it out and then rounded it down, smoothed it, sanded it. And the uh, flail, the flail is made up of the same thing, a metal tube. And then the top is, uh, I believe that's metal, yes, metal epoxy together. And then the uh, flail parts are drumsticks. I got maple drumsticks. And I went in and I took the drumstick to the disc sander and sharpened it into these little cones. And I would cut it off. And then do it again and cut it off. And do it again and cut it off. Until I had all these little beads. And I painted them blue and gold respectively. Drilled holes through the center. And ran the cord to the little eyelets at the top of the remaining pieces of the drumsticks. In ancient Egyptian, it was the Heka and the Nechacha. The Heka was the shepherd's crook which was power and dominion, the pharaoh, anyone in a powerful position, and the nechacha, the threshing flail, represented fertility because you would thresh out the wheat from the chaff. So the crook and the flail, it's also a symbol of Osiris, Aoser, but it went on to become the pharaonic symbols of power and fertility.